some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in uh, Tuscaloosa, Alabama with uh, the frauding couple known as Mick Rusty and Wife, a.k.a. J-Town Press and uh, Rusty Boy from Georgia Transparency as they uh, well get kicked out of another building for being a couple pains in the ass, and both of them are criminally trespassed for disregarding the library's code of conduct. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. ET and the J-Town Press went hot in Tuscaloosa, Alabama at the public library. Please make sure to like, share, subscribe to include smashing that notification bell or right quick, fast, and in a hurry. While initially walking around, we met what appeared to be some very friendly staff. That all changed as we attempted to leave as we encounter as we saw a Tuscaloosa police officer arrive. Upon re-entering the library, we were both criminally trespassed from a public space without a crime present. According to library director Jennifer Pearson, one must ask for permission to exercise one's First Amendment rights in this public space. Corporal Hunt with the Tuscaloosa Police Department ordered journalists out of the building or face being arrested. No crime being present, nor any reasonable articulable suspicions, we were denied our rights in this public space. The Tuscaloosa Library adopted the Library Bill of Rights. It appears that what Jennifer just did could have violated this by having two journalists removed from this public space. Well, first of all, the only thing that may even come close to uh, your complaint on this particular Bill of Rights for the Tuscaloosa, Alabama Public Library may be the censorship issue. But if you looked on the same damn website under their policies, you would note that... Uh, yeah, you did violate their policies by uh, disobeying their direct requests and orders to uh, stop filming within that library since uh, recording devices were not allowed according to the policy. And they have the right to govern their own building, you dumbass. I mean, it's all about the Tenth Amendment, you know? The Tenth Amendment granting the states the rights to create laws that are not covered in the Constitution, which filters down to the uh, local municipalities. I mean, you should really take that into consideration, you know, dill hole. Bring y'all along with us. Got GT. Wear shoes. That? GT's got shoes on. That's <laughs> great. What up, what up, what up? Again, we're in Tuscaloosa. That says... Oh, what's that? Can I help you? No, no, he's taking some pictures of video. Okay, just make sure you don't put any children. That's the main thing. Well, I mean, it's, as long as they're in public, we can. I'm not here for them, but if okay. we do, it's not against the law. Oh, Lana, you really need to check up on the laws as far as uh, children goes, because, well, you might be a bit surprised about what you'll find. But uh, let's just go with the simplest one right here. As far as YouTube policy goes, it's against uh, their policy to... Uh, uh, well, film children without the consent of the parents, you nitwit. How many times are you going to be educated on this before you freaking figure it out? Oh, wait, you're not going to figure it out because it's uh, not going to fit your little narrative. Now, is it, Lana? Okay. Yeah. Are you the All director? Right. No, I'm the deputy director. Yeah, so. What's your name, Amy? Amy. Amy, I'm Lana. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. And your name? Oh, my name's Russ. Nice to meet you. You too, ma'am. Thank you. God bless you. Have a good day, ma'am. Have a good day, ma'am. Now, they both think that this is over and uh, think that they've won, so they decide to leave the building, and then, for some reason, uh, J-Town Press re-enters the building, and good old Rusty Boy uh, follows suit, and, uh, well, J-Town Press is uh, apparently in the middle of a confrontation as soon as... GT walks in, and both of them end up getting trespassed because, you know, the library decided to enforce its policy. Okay, are you going to report? 
enforce her unconstitutional policy? Again, she has asked you to leave this is a public place. I got you. We also She's have a policy against So I do need you to leave. I, I don't matter. So if I don't leave, what's going to happen? I just need you to leave. So if I don't, am I being trespassed? You are being trespassed. Okay. So if I don't leave, I'll be arrested. Again, yes. Well, if you I'm don't trying, leave. I'm trying to leave. What do you do? Oh, hold on. Two, three, one, six. I just walked in. Why must you turn my office into a house of lies? Crauditors tend to believe that officers lie 100% of the time, or almost that much, and therefore it is okay for them to lie all the time. Well, uh, is that really the moral thing to do if you're fighting corruption, or supposedly fighting corruption? I mean, if you're going to fight the immorality, why don't you try using the morality of your position to tell the damn truth? Why don't you try that uh, every once in a while and see how it works? Because, uh, GT, your lies are so damn transparent, it's freaking ridiculous. What did I do? Uh, I've already seen you on the board. Uh, take yeah, it's a public place. Right, but people can't need to be able to come in here without being filmed. They need to know that they can come in. But it's a public place. place. Your name, ma'am? My name's Russ. Jennifer. Jennifer. What's your last name? Pearson. Pearson, you're the director of the library? Are you okay. filming me right now? Yes, ma'am. Um, no, I'm just saying that uh, this is a public place paid by taxpayers, so I can't come in here and do a news story on this. This is a violation of the well, First Amendment. Well, you know, we need to ask I don't need permission to do... You, you do, because we have a policy. Your policy you supersedes to, the U.S. Constitution? You have to get permission. People should have a reasonable expectation to privacy to come into this building. Oh, but ma'am, you're talking to a frauder. Somebody who has a criminal history to begin with. Uh, they don't believe in privacy. They want to go anywhere they want to go. Go, that way they can violate the rights of everybody else. You know, like uh, common criminals do. You can say what she is. Okay. Okay, okay. At this time, she's a representative of the business. Okay. She so if I don't leave, I'll be placed and okay. arrested. Did you know what, leave the For what charge? Again, what charge? She's asked you to leave the No, I, I'm leaving. I'm going to leave. I just want to know what charge. I got you. I need you to, I need you to go. Okay. We can finish talking outside. We can finish yep. talking outside. She's, she's an authority of the, the exactly. So. She supersedes the. You're garbage. Garbage. I appreciate you. What's going on? Again. I, Why? Again. Y'all are a piece of trash, man. I'm sorry that you. Seriously. A public place. This is a public. Look. A freaking public library. What law did I break? Man, go inside. You're garbage. You are garbage. I hope you're videoing that. Oh, I'm videoing it too, ma'am. It's going to be seen by hundreds of thousands of people. So my trespass from in the building? Again. Or no, 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 no one's. No yeah, one's. You're harassing. I mean, so that's not This is my, my right. Right. It's my First Amendment right, ma'am. I can say what I want to public officials. You're a horrible person. <laughs> I, I, I wish I was more I understand and I appreciate what you guys are doing. Won't you support your right, your again. oath? You you, you again, raised your right hand. Again, <laughs> right now, an establishment of this area is telling you to leave the property. Okay. But it's public. I really don't want to take it further. Okay? But it's public. Because I understand what you're doing, but I do need okay. to know the parking lot is included in their property. Okay. Is it? Authority okay. Of business is asking. All right. All right. I'm fixing to head up out of here. Just quick okay. question. Uh, is this public property? Again, this is the Tuscaloosa Public Library. So is it public? This is the Tuscaloosa Public Library. And Corporal Hunt, your badge number? 2316. Thank you. Y'all have a great day. I will leave the property under threat of arrest. I appreciate your cooperation. Yeah, go f yourself, dude. Oh, that's such poor sportsmanship on your part, Rusty Boy. You two knew what you were getting into. You knew there was a chance that... Uh, the library would enforce its uh, rules and regulations, but you did it anyway. And you ended up, uh, well, getting criminally trespassed from the library for your troubles. Yeah, dude. Congratulations. Both of you are a pair of, uh, well, morons. Now, I'm sure you've got a real pain in your ass from uh, all this that you're incredibly butthurt. So allow me to uh, present to you a tube of Blackheart Knight's special uh, formulated butthurt cream. Guaranteed to cure any pain in your ass.
or your money back. Well, that's at least what the elves tend to tell me, that it's, uh, well, uh, perfectly safe anyway. But from what I understand, other frauditors have told me that it tends to give them massive hemorrhoids afterwards. So you might want to be careful. Uh, yeah, so I'm just letting you know. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?